you're looking for a really great camera that you don't want to break the bank with, I would recommend the OMG, oh my god, camera. This camera is basically the OM-1 in my opinion, but not as premium. It's got most of the features. I mean, it has exposure compensation. I don't remember, I don't have the OM-1 with me right now. It's in my bedroom, but um, I'm not sure that one has exposure compensation. I'll have to check later or you guys can let me know in the comments. But it has a full auto mode. It's got manual, it's got bulb, it's got your shutter range all the way up to 1000. This is a good camera. You're just not getting the premium quality of the OM-1, which is a finely built camera. I could not praise its build enough. It's an incredibly well-built camera. And for a cheaper option, this camera is actually pretty well built. But it's also lighter. It's about the same size as the OM-1, but it's lighter. You still get a really bright viewfinder. Might be a touch smaller, which is still larger than most options. So if you're looking for a film camera and you've heard about the OM-1 and you think that's a great camera and you want it but you think it's a bit pricey, get this one. You'll be happy. Um, what really counts is the film. So you put good, the same film in it, same lenses, it's going to get the same results. So this is a definite recommendation for me. I actually think it's pretty cool looking. It's kind of tacky at parts like, I don't know why they have this like additional grip attachment. But but they do. All right, if you guys want to hear more about different cameras, I've got a big collection and I'm trying to get through them all and I want to share them all with you guys, but I want to know that people appreciate them, that they want to see them. So if you like it, please comment, please subscribe, please like the channel. Um, obviously I'm not making money from it, so I need your encouragement. All right guys, see you on the next one.